Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Manisha Dash from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will be understanding about the human task feature in cloud application integration. In this video, we will be understanding what is a human task and how it can be used in a CI process. We will look into the prerequisites to create a human task in an organization. We will create a process and use the human task step inside it. We will also look into a human task service page console when a request comes from CI process and how the approver takes the required action. We will look into a demo for better understanding of this feature. Let's first understand what is a human task. As the name suggests, human task is needed in a CI process when a human intervention is required. In real-time data processing, we might have a need to send some data to an API. The API might have a business requirement when the data can be sent to it. In this case, we can use a human task step before the service step to decide whether we can send data to this API at this point of time or not. The organization must have a human task queue license to be able to create and process the human task service. We need to create a human task custom role for the user to be able to create the task and use it in application integration. We also need to set a user role for the user who needs to view the task in service console and take the required action. Once we enter into CI console, we need to click on new and create a human task step. Only when we have licensed in this organization, then we will be able to view this step. In the process designer, we will be able to select the human task step only when we have a human task created in this organization earlier. In case we don't have any human task created, we will not be able to see this human task in the designer. While creating the task, we can select the priority of the task so that the approver checks and takes the required action accordingly. We will be able to select whether the task can be skipped or not. We will be able to select the owners of the task, the administrators and the stakeholders of it. The owners of the task can take required action to approve, reject, or skip the task. The administrators who can also act as owners will be able to reassign the task to other owners. Stakeholders of the task will not be able to take any action but will be able to comment on the task. We can also select input fields, outcomes, and output fields of the task. Now let's proceed with the demo. In a demo, we will be checking how to create user roles for the human task usage. We will be creating a human task and we will use it inside a process. We will run and understand how the approver takes the control and acts upon the request. Now in this organization, we have human task license already available. So we can go ahead and check the custom role that we have created for this user. The user I have logged in with is sourcing test. Now we will go to human task service and we will see how the assets and features are configured. So for this custom role human task, we have the human task assets configured all permissions. And under features, we have provided development, view task, and view human task application. We will use the same user to create the task, use it in the process, and also approve the request. Now under users, we will see how the custom rule is enabled for the user, and also the service is enabled for the user. We can see human task service is enabled for the user. We have also enabled the human task custom role that we created for this user. Now let's understand how we have created a human task and used it in the process in cloud application integration. Here we have created a human task 
we have provided the definition with the asset name, the location and the priority of the task. We can also select if the task can be skipped or not. Under assignments, we have created owners of the task, administrators and stakeholders. We have created three input fields to send data from the process to the approver. We have also created three outcome fields. By default, the task will have its own outcome field which can be seen in the process. Under display settings, we will be able to create the task name and we will be able to create a guide using the generate button. In case we already have a guide created and we want to use it for the same task, we will be able to browse here and select the guide. If the guide is in unpublished status, the task will be in invalid state. We have created a wrap-up process for the sub-process process test APIM and in this process we are deciding whether we can invoke this sub-process or not. To make this decision we are using a human intervention here. We have added a human task step just after the start step to decide whether we can move ahead with the path 1 and approve the request and or we can reject the request and end the task with an assignment. In this human task service step, we can see we have three input fields which we created in the task and we have the output fields. This is the output field which we created explicitly and task outcome is the default output field coming from the service step. Now once we run the process, we will be able to see a request in the human task service console. And as the user sourcing test is the owner of this task, he has got the request to take action on it. We will be starting the task and until then the process will be in halted state. Once we take an action, we can see that the process proceeds and the subprocess is invoked. In case the approver decides to reject the request, We can see that only the rapid process is triggered and the sub process is not triggered. This is because here we have made a decision whether the request is approved or not. Based on that, based on that decision, we are taking the action. I think the demo was helpful. For more understanding on human task and how it can be used, we can refer to the Informatica documentation and the knowledge base articles. We would love to hear from you through support videos at the readinformatica.com or the Twitter platform. Thanks for watching the video.